I pretty much bought this because I know I'm gonna be single this year. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Alley Cat, and since it's almost Valentine's Day, this is completely appropriate. The other day I went to the store and I bought all this Valentine's Day candy, because why not, when you're gonna be spending it alone anyway? And I wanted to try it out and let you guys know what you should buy for your Valentine's this year. Because not only do you get a card, you also get candy too. First of all, we're gonna start traditional with the box of chocolates. Everybody knows the box of chocolate is always good. Like, you can't go wrong with chocolate. So, um, I'm gonna try this one. I have no clue what they are. What, there's, there's like, one, two, <laughs> when you can't count, one, two, three, four. There's four chocolates in here. This is like a Valentine you get for your friend, but if you're going for your significant other, get more than four chocolates. So, let's see. Mm-hmm, looks good. I recommend a box of chocolates, always 100%. These, if you wanna spice up your um, Valentine relationship, I recommend getting these poppin' Valentine's Day candies. They look like, Pop Rocks, I hope they don't hurt me. They look like this in the packet. You say Pop, Valentine Poppin' Candy, artificial flavor. This looks like apple. I ain't never had no apple poppin' candy before, so we'll see how things go. Let me know if you hear it. Wait. It's good. Mmm. I like this one because it's like, this one's more like flirty, like, ha, eat this, and it's like popping in your mouth. You're like, ha, laughing about it or whatever. Next is a giant cookie, and the cookie says, kiss me. This is cute to get for your significant other. You know, give them a hint, kiss me, please, please. I don't think I'm gonna bite into this one though because I know what a cookie tastes like, and also, it looks like it's really hard. Yeah. I do not recommend this, but I got it, because I wanna, you know, I gotta try out everything. It's marshmallow hearts, like peeps, but they're hearts. I hate peeps. I hate candy-covered marshmallows, because I just think it's ridiculous and too sweet. But I'm gonna give it a try, because maybe these will be better. This is something you get for your classmates at school, you know, when you had to have a Valentine's Day party and give something to everybody in the class. This is what you would give to them, because it's trash. <laughs> And I was right. Trash. Speaking of nasty candy to give to your classmates, this is disgusting. Okay, it's called a marshmallow lollipop. I just don't like marshmallow things unless they're marshmallows. I don't know, it's weird. This is, I think, shaped like a heart. It does not look like a heart, but I'm just gonna guess. My sister loves these, and I just, I don't know. Gosh, it just smells like sweet. It tastes like medicine. Are we trying to uh, make our significant others feel good or make them feel sick? Because if you're trying to make them feel sick, I recommend this. If you want to be super cute, get them a chocolate sucker that's shaped like a dog that says, I rough you. How cute is that? Because it's like, I love you, but a dog says rough, rough. You know, you get the joke? Uh, this is gonna taste like chocolate because it's chocolate, obviously. Oh, it's crunch, okay. We're stepping it up. Sorry, dog. I didn't mean to bite off your head and stuff, but that one was good, I'm gonna eat that later, but. Get this, back to something not as good. These are marshmallow bears, back to marshmallows. They look like they're just sweet marshmallows dipped in sugar. And I guess that's what it is, but gross. We gonna give this a little taste. It's a cute bear, it is, but I just don't have time for the sweetness. And this doesn't even taste like a marshmallow. I don't know what that was that I just ate. Next up, I have never seen this before. This is a uh, this is a box full of jelly beans and they're heart spotted jelly beans. Oh, the box was so easy to open. Yes, yes, box. These look good. They they got pink ones. Oh, they're shaped like hearts. They're pink ones that are like spotted with blue, and then you got red hearts. I assume that the red hearts are probably cherry, and the pink ones are like bubble gum. Let's see. Mmm. I don't know. It doesn't. It kind of tastes like bubble gum, but kind of not. Does it tell you the flavor? No, it doesn't tell you, but this tastes like bubble gum. Now let's try the red one. Yep, I was right. 
Cherry and bubblegum. Okay, the cherry one kind of has a bad aftertaste. If I had a boyfriend or somebody, or Valentine or somebody to give something to, I would definitely give them this rose. Chocolate rose, first of all. Nothing's better than chocolate. And then you got rose too, like, that's the best of both worlds. Yes. Let's see if it has something in the middle. That would be bomb. Ready? Oh, it comes off. Nope. It's just hollow chocolate. Next up. You cannot have Valentine's Day without one of these. These are the little sweethearts. Any things that you give to your classmates, again, for like the Valentine's Day party you used to have when you was little. Valentine's Day is not Valentine's Day without one of these. So we had to get it. I'm just gonna eat one. Whichever one says the best. Te amo. I hope I said that right. And then, I don't know what this says. Can you all read that? Probably not. Well, let's taste it. Brings back memories, man. Fourth grade Valentine's Day parties was lit. Okay, but look at this though. It is a sucker that looks like lips. You cannot go wrong with this. Hope it tastes as good as it looks. I don't really taste much. I kind of taste a little bit of like cherry. It's like faint. I can't, I don't know. And last but not least, candy bracelets. I hope they say something on them. Yes, this one says love on it. Right here. Says love on it, on the heart. But you know, you put it on, take a bite if you get hungry, but it's cute. And I'm gonna wear it today. So I hope you enjoyed this candy tasting video. I had to do it because Valentine's Day was coming soon and I just couldn't wait. Don't be putting a thumbs down on my videos or I will come get you, y'all know that. And if you're cool, go like me on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash alleycat where I upload behind the scenes giveaways and other cool stuff. Go check it out. And add me on Snapchat if you have not already because my Snapchat be lit, I'm telling y'all. Yeah, for real, it's lit. And one more thing, if you haven't already, go vote for me for the Shorty Awards for Viner of the Year because I got nominated and it's crazy. It would be so crazy if I won. I need your help. So have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless you every step. Now it's time for Kitten of the Week. Who's Kitten of the Week this week? Drum roll, please. This week's Kitten of the Week is Wendy Andrea or Wendy Andrea. I don't know which one it is. You let me know and I get in the DMs. And if you want to be Kitten of the Week next week, here's a link below to find out how.